Howdy folks and dear friends, I'm glad you could stop by. Hi Sue. Hi. Okay, so we have been posting recently um, some uh, of our YouTubes on Facebook and running it through several of the different groups that I'm part of. Now one of the members of a group named Wes got back in touch with me this morning and asked a couple questions, mainly about our tagline. And a question about some of my rigging here. I had not intended to go that direction yet. I probably will go further that in the future, but I will give a kind of a thumbnail quickly on that so, he, so I can answer his question, maybe answer some someone else has. Okay, this is a line that goes across a piece of rope that runs across one side to the other front, to the front rig and ring above our girth. Maybe a little confusing to folks because it's low. Our saddles are rigged with a drop type rigging. And that's another story, and that's really a good story. I'll be telling you this one of these days, but I'm not going to go there now. But this rig, this rope comes up, and I hook it to an evener, which can run back and forth. Okay? <clears throat> now, I'm going to set this down. <clears throat> I have, the reason I have changed this to this setup from what they call a packer's knot. <clears throat> a packer's knot is tied in the lead rope of a, of a, of a pack animal brought up to another to the back of a pack animal to a pig and string or breakaway <coughs> without an evener. <coughs> now, you just tie it simply and I'll do it fast and I'm trying to teach it to you because I don't use it anymore. I use it a lot, but not now. Take a loop in it, <coughs> pull down the back end of it, put a half inch in it, pull it through, and supposedly that's good. <coughs> okay. Now a couple things. When this breaks Without the evener, I guarantee this rope will snap up and find itself underneath your cargo. So that means somewhere along the trail, you've got to stand up next to your animal, reach up underneath them, try to find that and pull it back out again under your tarps, under your top pack, or under your car top cargo. <clears throat> okay, that's one reason I didn't care for it. Main reason, safety. I don't think this is a safe system. <clears throat> We were coming out of the duck of bush with a pack string. Sue was riding drag for me. Our little Josie mule. They were all tied just like this. <clears throat> Our little Josie mule broke away. The rope dropped on the ground. She stepped through it. We were in a horrible place. The trail was about that wide. And about the next step off was about 600 feet. So we were in a bad spot. She put her foot through it stood there just a quivering. Just scared to death. Thank God she was hobble broke, so she didn't try to move or run away. <clears throat> Sue had to get off, and I couldn't get back to her. She had to get off and crawl hand over hand over the animals to get to Josie, calm her down, and get her foot out of this. So when I got home, I took a look at this whole setup and said, you know, a loose loop on the ground with animals walking around is not a good idea. So I got rid of this. This flat got rid of it. I said no more. i got to find a better rough strap. So I did a lot of conjuring, and that's how I came up with this. <clears throat> this evener has another what, foot 18 inches to the rope. It goes through the back of the pack saddle, through a strap, even back and forth through this strap, so to stop them from crawling up a little bit, crawling up on each other. <clears throat> when you, when you, this breaks away, got a nice big loop, this will still be hooked so the pack animal would be behind the animal broke. All you have to do then is go back, pick up this hand, go back up, get this guy, tie breakaway in it. You know, there's no more measuring, no more fiddle filling around, you're ready to go. It's quick and dirty. And to get saves a lot of time, a lot of safe, and there's no loops for them to step through. So worst case scenario, this one back here, they got a ways to go, she's dragging along, dragging this along, no big deal. But it works very, very well. <clears throat> and uh, as with everything we do, what you're learning here is how we do it for ourselves. We don't expect you to do this, but we're showing you how we do it and why we do it. And that's it. Okay, folks, I thank you so very much for being patient with us and coming by, visiting, and to learn a few of these things we, we really wish to share. And so, Sue, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, folks. Thank you very much. And remember, 
Ride often, but please ride safely. Thank you again. Bye-bye.